So the other day I came across a poll on the Surface Duo subreddit asking how many of those users would rather have full Windows 11 on their Surface Duo or Duo 2 instead of, of course, the mobile operating system Android that we did eventually get. And I expressed that the results of this poll were baffling to me because more people would prefer apparently to have full desktop windows on their mobile device, their Surface Duo in this instance, than Android. And I will express in the briefest, most succinct of terms that I can, why exactly that baffles me to the extent that it does. But first, I wanna kinda of show you guys some stuff that might make you excited, it might make the majority of you excited. So let's talk briefly about Lumia Windows on ARM or Lumia WOA. I don't know how this is supposed to be read, but basically what this is was a project wherein Windows on ARM was ported to some of these Lumia Windows Phone devices. And by doing this, some crafty developers were able to port full-blown Windows 11, in this case, they talked about Windows 10, but of course you can see here, this is Windows 11, directly over to these Lumia devices. And you can see here from some screenshots exactly how well or not well, I guess, this would actually work. And of course, you know, Continuum's there. You plug this into a monitor and it's running Windows. So of course, Continuum's going to work just fine. You plug it in, if you don't know what Continuum is, you plug this phone, this phone, into a monitor and you've got a full desktop OS because it's running a full desktop OS. And of course, they've actually even done some work here with Mobile Shell to kind of make things run a bit better on a mobile device because obviously Windows 11 is a desktop operating system. They've got the dialer working, they've got MMS working. And I know that some of you have been using this. Some of you are holding on to your old Lumia 950s and so forth and you're running full fat desktop windows on that thing. And some of you have even daily drove this as your primary mobile device. Okay, so why am I talking about this particular thing, this Lumia Windows on ARM collaboration? Well, the reason I'm talking about it is because one of the developers, one of the people that is partially responsible, I don't know to what degree, because I don't know enough about the development of this thing, but I know that he was in some way involved with this project, now has his hands on a Surface Duo. This person, Gustav Manche, is how I'm going to probably horrifically butcher this poor individual's name, but they've been tweeting some very interesting things as of late, as they've gotten their hands on a Surface Duo. Let's take a look here. They have begun the process of getting Windows 11 running on an original Surface Duo. In fact, they posted this video uh, just this morning, I believe, showing exactly what we're talking about, where they get into this bootloader area, right? And then it goes ahead and it does boot into your Windows panels before arriving eventually at this screen here where you would begin the setup process on Windows. Now, you'll notice there's a lot going on here. So the second screen here, nothing's happening there. So that's blank. I don't know. That's something that I'm sure they're going to try to get working. And as he says here, Early days, so aside from booting and showing stuff on screen, that's about it, but that's always satisfying to watch. So he's making some incredible progress here already. I mean, the thing is booting, but there's a long way still to go, right? There's a lot of things you're gonna have to then account for, like mobile data, Wi-Fi, the touchscreen, the gyroscopes, on and on and on, the hinge angle sensors, that kind of thing. There's a ton of stuff, and this is going to be more complicated than something like running this on these Lumia devices, these slab phones, just simply for the fact that Duo has two screens and angles that they can be put at and so forth and so on. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is something you're going to be downloading and installing on your Surface Duo in the next two or three weeks. This is probably still a long ways off before it's something that's going to be something that you're even going to want to try. But I do want to bring to you that it is in fact happening. But let's go back to that initial poll, right? If Microsoft launched a version of Windows 11 for the Duo with access to Android apps through the Amazon store and made it available for current Duo and Duo 2 devices, would you download it? I guess if the question is simply would I download it, my answer also would be yes. I would try. I wouldn't do it on my primary Duo. i will probably do it on my original Duo. And once this is a thing that I can try, I will definitely be interested in trying that as well. But if the question is, would I want that to be the thing I daily drive on my Surface Duo? The answer is unequivocally no, it is not. 
And in fact, I'll take this a step further. If Surface Duo had have launched running Windows straight out of the box, maybe it was Andromeda OS, or maybe it was something more like Windows 10X, like what Surface Neo was supposed to run. I don't know that I would have bought the thing simply because this is my phone. I'm not going to carry this and another device. I'm just not. As a companion device, this is it's still too big. I know that it's really thin, right? And that's a great thing about it, but it's it's huge. This occupies an entire pocket. So now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have this in one pocket and something else in the other pocket, a whole nother phone. I'm not doing that. This has to be my only device. And if it's running straight up Windows, I'm going to be missing out on oodles and oodles of applications that I use on a daily basis. And look, web apps might be the future, okay? I was a big believer in webOS, and that was kind of the main shtick, aside from an incredibly intuitive, slick, and impressive user interface. Web apps was the entire point of webOS, hence the name. But that wasn't there yet. Web apps weren't there yet. And, and now it feels like it's 50 years on, and web apps still are not quite there yet. I think that they will continue to grow. But it's still not a thing that I would feel like I could, you know, fully just say, yeah, I don't need access to the Play Store. I have websites. I just don't think that's the case yet. And I know some of you are screaming at your monitors right now. But it says with access to Android apps to the Amazon Store. Windows 11 has Android app now. It does, but it doesn't, right? Because it's running in an emulator, okay? And if we're talking about running android apps inside an emulator inside windows when, when you do this on a full-fledged pc for instance something like my pc that's running like an i7 9700k a 1070 ti 32 gigs of ram the apps run okay you know they don't run great they run better on an android device than they do on something that's wildly more powerful than my android device and i'll take that and let's scale it down and put it on a mobile device the apps are not going to run well at all I don't remember, there was a rule of thumb back in the day that whatever console you're emulating, the device doing the emulation needed to be some orders of magnitude more powerful than the system it's emulating. Like, it's still kind of hard to emulate, like, PlayStation. Like, it's only recent that PlayStation emulators have become, like, pretty good on mobile devices, despite the fact that these things are way more powerful than PlayStation. And I know it's more complicated than that because there's architecture and there's... It's, it's way more complicated than that. But you'll take my point. Emulation, you lose a ton of overhead in, in, in overall performance and power simply because you're emulating. So yes, I understand that it would have access to Android apps, but it would have access to Android apps in the same way that BlackBerry had access to Android apps and they ran poorly and no one cared because it just didn't work. Emulating apps from another store is not going to solve your app gap problem. I'm sorry, it's just not. So in my mind, I would be basically saying, yeah, I could kind of run some Android apps in a pinch if I had to, but I'm going to be primarily relying on my Edge browser and, and web apps. And that's pretty much all I'm going to have. Because if you go to the Microsoft store, I'm sorry, there's just not much there. And then I also want to factor in the idea that this thing would need a ton of work in terms of the user interface. Now, I know that on Lumia WA, WOA project, that some work has been done. You can see here, this is pretty much a desktop. But then they do have this other interface here that will kind of make things a bit better. But I just don't think that that's enough for someone to want to daily. I, mean, I should preface this. For some of you, it will be enough to want to daily drive this thing. But we're talking about Duo as well. We're talking about wanting to be able to move apps from one screen to the other, you know, move these things back and forth. So we're going to need good gestures. Look, I don't want to be long pressing a bar at the top of an app and then dragging it over. And I just, I don't want to be hunting and pecking at minimize, maximize, and close. I don't want to be, I don't have to do any of that stuff. I want an interface that is, that is optimized for a touch input. And not just a touch input, but touch input on a screen far smaller than Windows is designed to run on. And that's really important. I mean, I've run Windows on very small devices. I've, I've got a couple of Windows tablets in the other room. One of them is a 7-inch tablet. Let me just tell you, it's not a good experience. It is not good at all. It's too small. And you can, you can barely get a hold of the things your touch targets on something like that. And we're going to take that and we're going to shrink it down considerably from there and expect it to be anything but frustrating. I don't know, guys. Not to say that some work can't be done. Look, hopefully some developers, some enterprising developers prove me wrong. You know, 
take this mobile shell and, and adapt it and find ways to be able to move. Sure, figure it all out and I'm down. And don't get me wrong, as soon as this is something I can download and install, I will do it because I am curious. I totally get why you want Windows on your Surface Duo. I, I get it. It's it's the tinkerer, right? It's the uber nerdy part of you that just wants, I want to see what it would be like to have full, full Windows on a dual screen mobile. I, it's, it sounds incredible. But at the same time, I just have to push back and say, yeah, it sounds really cool and I'm in and I want to do it too. But in terms of you know daily driving that, I'm gonna lose my apps. I'm gonna have an inferior mobile user interface. I, I, I'm not gonna daily drive it, okay? But I, I'm definitely into trying it. Guys, please share your opinions about this in the comments down below. I'm sure some of you think I'm an idiot and think I'm totally, absolutely wrong, but maybe not. Maybe some of you agree with my take here. At any rate, sound off in the comments down below. Go give Gustav a follow on Twitter. You saw his handle there and follow the news more directly there. Guys, I'll see you on the next video. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.